Hello and welcome to another five minute drawing lesson. Uh, this week I'm going to do an amphi car, which is quite a fun amphibious vehicle I think from the 60s. So it's quite a simple shape. So the first thing we're going to do is a front wheel. So we know that. And the wheelbase, if you've been watching these before, we measure everything in terms of wheels, is about two wheels. So you've got one wheel, there's one there, one would fit in there, and then the next wheel would come after that. So we could fit two wheels between our two wheels. See how close you can get it. Don't worry if it's not perfect. Uh, the next thing we need, if we do the centers of the wheels there, is a horizontal line that's level with the centers of the wheels. It's going to be the bottom of the car. And then we need another one, which is the waistline of the car, which is going to be just above the front, well, we'll call this the front wheel, just a tiny bit above. That can be a bit longer because we've got quite a long overhang on this car. So yeah, I was saying this was the front, and if you measure one wheel out in front, a bit close to the edge of the page there, make a little mark on your horizontal line, that's going to be the furthest forward part of the car. And if you measure another wheel out the back, um, that's going to be pretty much, you can do that level with the bottom baseline, that's pretty much going to be the back edge of the car there. Um, we'll probably want to put the top edge in. So this top top edge of the bodywork is going to have a slight curve on it. So it slightly curves upwards, then it goes horizontal for a bit, and then it slightly curves downwards. Um, and you want to start and finish between those marks you made. Let's have a look. You can do it in three, three swoops if you like, or try and do it all in one go. Try to, try to avoid doing very short furry lines like this because it will end up looking a bit kind of hairy. Um, so now we've got that top edge of the bodywork in, we can add these nice overhangs. So the front, we've got an area for the headlights, which see how it tilts slightly backwards. And then from there, it tilts down to try and meet this bottom line of the car. And a similar thing happens at the back, except this one is a bit steeper to start with. And then we might leave this bottom edge until we've sorted out the wheel arches. So we'll do the front wheel arch first, because that's an easier one. That's just, it follows the line of the front wheel for the first part. And then it has a nice sort of diagonal slope afterwards. Then we go across and the back one's quite fun because it chops the top of the wheel off. So we have a horizontal line chopping the top of the wheel off. And then a little vertical with a little rounded corner. And again that one also has a bit of a swoop backwards. But it doesn't go very far. It doesn't come down as low as the bottom of the car. About halfway before it gets there it gets chopped off and that can then roll into that. So there's the, the basic form of the bodywork. Now we've got a few things to add. So we've got um, a door. So the front edge of the door is a little bit back from the edge of this wheel. So we've just got a vertical there. Obviously it can't go into the wheel arch so it has a little curve and then goes across horizontally. And the door is about, it's a tiny bit bigger than the width of a wheel. So if you see if that's the size of your wheel, just a tiny bit bigger, that's where the back edge will be. Nice and vertical, so it's easy to draw these. Nothing complicated. Um, and once you've got that, that gives you your windscreen, which has a slight sort of tilt back on it. So there's the pillar for the windscreen and the actual glass itself, because it's curved, you can see sticking out in front. And then there's a, a sort of side, side light, is that what they're called? 
something like that, just behind. And inside there you can see the steering wheel. Now we've got another fun part to add, which is a fin. And this, it starts just kind of a bit in from the front edge of this back wheel. So if you, if this, so if you go up from there and come back a little bit, that's kind of where the fin starts. And the top edge of it isn't horizontal, it tilts up ever so slightly. Not very much, but just a little bit. Just a nice straight line right back. And it that's, sort of comes back on itself, so it's like a nice arrow flight or something like that. And we'll do it with the roof closed because that's a bit easier. So we've got some trim there and the folded up roof sticking up there. Now we've got a few little details to add. We've got um, what looks like some kind of, I don't know, what is that? So just a nice bit of trim, I suppose, just a little bobble on the bonnet, which has a small lamp behind it. And uh, a door handle, just a little teardrop shape there. And the yeah, we could add the ground in. So hopefully everybody's been drawing quite lightly up to this point. Um, now we can start to add a few firmer lines and a few sort of accents here and there just to make the drawing a bit more interesting. So we've got the the wheels on the far side of the car to draw because you usually can see those if you're looking at the side of a car. The underside you can now make a bit firmer, show it's like shaded. And the wheel on the far side of the, over there. You could darken the ground between the wheels and just behind and in front. I tend to leave this bit a bit lighter just to show the contact. And the bottom edge of this, the back there is quite low. I think the engine's probably under there. So you can add that. And what else do we need? We need some some kind of bumpers. Got a strange bumper at the back, which I think is like a, a loop which probably protects the propellers when they swing out. And uh, so there's your basic shape. So now it's a matter of making it making your sketch look a bit more interesting. So you can shade in the wheel arches. And the wheels on the far side. You could even add a little shadow across that top top of that back wheel. That would make it more clear that the wheels are inset. All of that needs to be quite dark because that's hidden. And it would just darken now that we know that our drawing's okay proportion wise and we don't need to change anything. We can just darken some of these um, some of these lines just to tidy them up and make the drawing more interesting. Notice I'm turning the page around. It's much easier to turn the page so that it suits the sweep of your arm than to try and contort your arm into different positions. So you don't want to outline everything dark, otherwise you'll lose that contrast between lightly drawn and dark parts. You just want a few little accents here and there just so it draws your eye you know, around the page and Highlights things like shading and shadows. I'll do a dark roof just because that will contrast nicely. And that's pretty much it. Um, next week I'll show you how to do a three-dimensional view and maybe how to push the caricature of the car slightly so that it's a bit more exaggerated. Hope you enjoyed that. See you for another one soon.